Govern built this place, now it's in the way. Govern built this place, now it's in the way. We spray paint there, the vandals. Our green place is dismantled. We get kicked out and cancelled. So I wrote me a manual. What does it mean when the walls go up and they close those gates and they close that footpath and they turn you away? What does it mean when they shut down with the kids all play? And they board up the windies and they take your space. Well, this is a manual, well thumbed and read, for when the people who live here become unwelcome guests, for when the residents' lives make way for enterprise and they push us out with our threats and lies, it's a user's guide for the gentrified. First you ask nicely, no way you'll be turned away. Somebody seems to have locked the gate. Surely there's been some mistake. Can we get our ball back, please? Dear sir, they say it like it's respectful, but it's actually patronizing. Like their politeness can hide all the plotting and planning and actualizing. I'm afraid we can't allow you access, said the Cyberman. I'm sure you'll understand. This is private land and it needs locked up, belt and braces, any wandering about's against health and safety. Time to consider your options. Plot, plan and strategize. Organize, mobilize like Killer Mike. Plan a local heist. I could get in disguised as a police. Say I had to check the security. If I borrowed Elmo's bouncer card, I could say we were extra security. But they've cameras surrounding the gaff. Nobody's falling for a false moustache. If I can't be a plant, what if we say we found a rare one or something ecological like water bowls? They can uproot people given half a chance but can't disturb natural habitats. More protection for rats than people's gaffs. Or what about an ancient burial ground? If the graving dock was a graveyard, I could sneak in after dark and plant a body like Richard III in that car park. Or a heritage site, all the graph. The scale of the art is incredible. The colours sprayed and the marks they've made on the city should be indelible. Yet those boys that done that stencil of the Union Jack Banksy, the council will go mental for plastic bag balloons and rats wearing trackies. It's at this point, of course, you realise you'll need to take the place by force. You've tried every other recourse. Now it's accessed by cunning and extreme sports. What if we drilled in, burrowed when building a tunnel through brick and earth, great escape in reverse? Or if that's not correct, Maybe I could pull vault over the fence if I took a runny with a two by four. I could sneak right in and leap right over or take my toolbox, clip and crimp, cut a square out the fence, snipping them in, then set up at camp at night. If I'm not caught on sight, I'll claim squatters' rights. There's always the water, right? Could I not just sail across the Clyde, get an Eldro boat for Elder Park and take a route there after dark like a Dickensian baddie in Victorian fog? If not that, maybe I could swim across, take off for the other side, Clyde side distillery. But I'm a rubbish swimmer, mate. Stealing, swimming, disguises, reason, railing, drilling. I've just about exhausted every avenue, short of jumping out the sky in a parachute. Instead, experts parachute in with sticks and carrot suit. Promise riches that embarrass you. Try to sell a dead end as an avenue. The problem with councils in business is that art is invisible. It's all profits and missives. Grey suits built golden gated penthouse prisons. You need to listen. You need to listen. You need to listen more. Why should communities change to fit the mould? You need to listen. You need to listen. Liar, liar, gentrifier, your truth is told in fencing wire. Need another Starbucks and a Sainsbury's. I'll still be getting a pie for Watson's Bakery. Commonwealth legacy, dealing with a remedy. 88 city, a culture territory, a legacy going back centuries. We live here, mate, listen, we live here. Use your ears, we live here. You need to listen, you need to, you need to. We live here, mate. Listen, we live here.
The docks are tension between nature and industry. The new tension is natives and businesses. And anyone can put their roots down. You need to listen. They see a weed and rip it out by the roots. I see a rose getting crushed underfoot. You need to listen. You need to look. Stop its heart from beating, message keeps repeating, graving ghosts are speaking. Listen, 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 listen. You need to listen. Educate the commoners, give in to the have nots, promises of property, profiting in land stocks. We're undereducated, undomesticated, you're underestimating the unrest you're facing. Ultimately money talks, chasing food for hungry gods, golden handshakes and honey pots, make promises, take cash and scurry off. You might well have good intentions, instead of bridges you're building fences. What sort of message is that you're sending? You need to listen more and learn some lessons. I want to see community centres, I want to see community centred. I want to see community led works fed by community mentors and elders catch the transmission. You need to listen, respect tradition. You need to listen, improve your vision. You need to listen, fix a broken system. You need to listen, hear the people's rhythm. You need to listen, catch the transmission. You need to listen, respect tradition. You need to listen, fix a broken system. You need to listen. 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 My name is Paul McAlinden, the artistic director of the Glasgow Barons, which is Govan's Regeneration Orchestra. Here in the neighbourhood, we have a lot of different music projects which help revitalise the neighbourhood and get people engaged in music. I asked the composer Aidan Toplitsky and the Scottish rapper Solari to collaborate on a piece together that would explore some of the issues around the rapidly evolving situation of the Govan graving docks. So I'm Aidan Toplitsky, I'm a composer, um, and I write music about a lot of weird and wonderful stuff. So I've written music about drag queens, um, music about uh, the weeds at the bottom, bottom of my garden, and I'm just at the moment finishing off a PhD looking at working classness in classical music. The brief for this piece was to write a piece that was sort of memorialising or discussing or exploring the uh, gentrification of the Govan Docks, which uh, is basically an area, a brilliant area of all this great uh, Glaswegian graffiti. And it's sort of like a big hub for the local community, just for people coming of age and a place to gather within the community of Govan. The, the concept in the title comes from Aidan and from his and from the music that he's written and I think he had a really strong concept for that in terms of this idea of a, a user guide for the gentrified to sort of uh, uh, shorten and paraphrase the, the, the title you know so this this idea of a manual to take you through the experience of gentrification and then to to flip that halfway through and to sort of examining the experiences of gentrification and the negative impact that can have on a community and the things communities can and do do to try and combat that. Working with a rapper was really interesting because I'm a big fan of rap, MF Doom, Kendrick Lamar, and it was one of those thoughts of, I know a lot of how string writing works and that, but trying to think of, well, how do you actually get that fusion of rap, particularly Scottish rap, and classical music together. So it was a big thought of, well, I want to do something that's not just the typical, let's hammer out the beat, let's do very lush strings, but doing something a bit more creative, a bit more interesting, and create a environment so that myself and Dave or Solari could really like merge our styles together and create something that's completely new and exciting. I commissioned this piece because last March, a young rapper here in Govan called Johnny Miller 
uh, started a small festival, a very ad hoc music festival, protesting the development of the Govan Graving Docks, which had been free access to the Govan community for many, many years. And it had been uh, proposed that this area would now be uh, developed for luxury flats. So he planned a small, very ad hoc bunch of musicians to perform in the graving docks as a small act of protest uh, against this. So I came down the road, because I live just up the road from the graving docks, to find out how this festival was going on, and discovered that the owners of the site had locked the festival out. And there was a whole line of police vans in front of the gate to make sure that nobody could get in. And some police officers were dotted around. The festival had moved across the road. This is some 30 people. And they were performing their festival over there. And it struck me how effective and frightening it must have been to the property developer to have a local rapper even attempting to protest on their land, to prompt this response. Um, I then explored how to address being locked out of an area that the general public had had access to for very many years and asked Aileen Sweeney, who's another composer, down to the uh, graving docks to have a wander around. And we were still locked out. And I phoned up the property owners and asked them if I could have permission to go in and show Aileen the considerable amount of graffiti art, of basically Scottish hip-hop uh, street art, that existed around the graving docks and had built up over the years when the public had had free access. And I was told that I wasn't given permission to enter because they were concerned that any attempt to glorify the street art would engender sympathy in the public towards it. So all the elements were there to really explore why a property developer who wants to develop luxury flats on their own property took such an exception to effectively Scottish hip-hop culture and Scottish art and what the relationship is between the artists who are unable to get into the site, the art that exists in the site that cannot be reached, and the continuing development and discussion of what's going to happen to the site. This has many different levels of gentrification, of fear of working class and hip hop culture, and street and grassroots culture, and the way in which very dramatic changes are happening around Govan to explore the tensions between new and old communities.